The year is 2004, and NASCAR has a problem. Jeremy Mayfield has gone missing. Just before the chase for the cup began, and only one man can step up and save NASCAR, Kyle Petty. So here we are. Kyle Petty is going to save NASCAR. These are the settings I am going to be using. I am, I'm still going to wipe the floor with P the AI, even though it's on Legend difficulty. I don't know how I suddenly got so good at this game, but I did. Um, here he is, all his glory, Mr. Kyle Petty. I only have one scheme for him because this one looks like ass. I'm not buying it. And I'm going to go ahead and set up this roster real quick. Okay, here we are. We have Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth, Elliot Sadler, Kurt Busch, Mark Martin, Ryan Newman, and Kyle Petty. I am taking the spot of Jeremy Mayfield, who was originally ninth. But I feel it best for the whole story here to keep Kyle Petty at the bottom and move Ryan Newman up a spot. After each race, I'll be going over the uh, real-life race results for 2004 and all that, and the chase standings. One rule I'm going to have for myself is, on most tracks... I am just going to skip qualifying after the first lap because I've noticed that if I keep going to the second lap, I'm usually getting a guaranteed top 5 qualifying spot and we don't want that because I can very easily take the lead from that and that's not fun. The frames are a bit uh, inconsistent, and I don't know what that is exactly, but the Xbox I bought off my friend here is a bit worse for wear, so that might be it, but I mean, game looks pretty good, at least on my end. I don't know how it looks in the recording yet, but it looks pretty good, at least to me. Alright, there's 10th, so we're gonna get right into the race. And green flag is waving in New Hampshire. How the fuck did Brendan Gaughan qualify in the top 10? And do I spy a Scott Riggs up front? Yeah, fuck you, Elliot. Pull a nice three wide on that inside. And then rub doors with Michael Waltrip. Trust me, guys, I'm a good driver in real life. I, I don't do this stuff in real life. If I did, I would have been arrested a million times by now. And put Kurt Busch and Scott Riggs in the wall with one move. And now we're all the way up to third. See what I said when I can wipe this game's ass? This summer has been extremely hot, at least here in Michigan, where I am. Which is surprising, because usually we get, like, low to mid-80s all summer, but it's been pretty consistently high 80s, low 90s all summer. It's It's been a really hot one, and I've been suffering. Perhaps it's because of my insistence to wear sweatpants instead of shorts, but it's still hot as fuck. <laughs> Even with two fans running all day. It can still get pretty hot in my room. I honestly cannot wait for winter, because there's a lot more you can do about being too cold than you can about being too hot. There's only, there's only so many clothes you can take off, you know? And we're right on Dale Jr.'s ass. Give him a little share draft, I guess. And then a little see you later move. Except I didn't hit him. There's the hit. And he just put me in the wall. <laughs> well, 
That's karma, I guess. And hey, we still have the lead. Kyle Petty can still save NASCAR. Don't worry, guys. Alright, halfway on fuel, so that means we'd probably run out around lap 14. 14 laps of fuel. I sh should probably pit on lap 11 if I want to short pit a little bit. You know, I haven't watched NASCAR in a while. Like, this year I've only watched two races with my friends. And that's about it. I haven't... Like, the last year I really watched a ton of NASCAR was probably around 2020. That's probably because of COVID. But I don't know, it just kind of... I became a lot more interested in baseball. And that kind of took over my life. And it led me to high school radio, where I am now. And I actually won an award. I've won multiple awards on the state level already. And I won one on a national level. From the sports segment I do on uh, my, my station's news broadcasts. definitely something I didn't see really getting into. I mean, I guess it's a way to exercise my passions for baseball without actually playing it, because I can't play baseball for shit. I love the sport. It doesn't love me. Alright, it's about pitting time. I, is that the pit wall? Nope. No, it is not. That is not a pit wall. Okay. Ignore this. Please ignore this, Mike Helton. Alright. <laughs> we made it. Barely. And that means Kurt Busch is gonna take the lead. And I guess everybody else had the same plan as me, bar the cutting through the infield. The vibration motors on my controller are so worn out that it just feels weird when they're trying to do the tire replacing vibrations. Coming out in 23rd, about to be lapped by Kurt Busch, maybe. If I don't lose it, we should be good. We should cycle back out to the lead from the looks of it. Because I'm pretty sure I was the first out. If you're someone who's watched this channel for a while, and you're probably concerned about this being dumped into the infamous series I've abandoned playlist, don't worry. I'm gonna make sure that I have recorded every single episode before I start releasing this. Looks like we're gonna take the lead on the straightaway here from Jeff Burton. And there we are. Kyle Petty is once again the leader. Thanks for the voice crack. And I just realized it's New Hampshire! Kyle Petty's favorite track! You know, it's amazing to me how good PS2 original Xbox era games actually looked. It's just, you know, they didn't really have the best TVs at the time, so they were being outputted in these really small resolutions to little tube TVs, so they didn't really 
look amazing, but now that we have technology to output it all in HD, I mean, it looks great. I mean, MVP Baseball 2005, as soon as I fired up this Xbox with that game in and the little HDMI converter I have, I was awestruck. I mean, that game looks fucking amazing. I don't know how EA managed it. Alright, we have a four second lead, so I think we're good to the end. <laughs> we're definitely good to the end on fuel. Well, should be good to the end on fuel. Not sure about our tire status, because I don't think there's a button to change that in Xbox. Change to that overlay up there in the top corner, so we're stuck with the track map. Looks like whoever's in second is gaining on us a little bit, but. We'll be fine. There's only uh, six, seven laps to go. It took me a minute. We're halfway on fuel. We pitted six laps ago. Okay, no, we might not be good on fuel to the end. <laughs> Never mind then. I have laps to go, still leading, gaining on second, because I'm hugging the inside a little closer right now. I'm gonna start slowing down a little bit more in the corners. The tires are definitely wearing though, I'm not able to turn the cars as used to. And we're still gaining, even though I'm slowing down more. Like, I think the only way we're lo losing this race is if I run out of fuel or I cock up and run into the wall. Both of which are definitely possibilities. And we're at low fuel now with three laps to go. I can see lap cars, so we're definitely far ahead. There's the Goodyear blimp. Ignore that. He, that was on purpose. You didn't see that. Two laps remain. We're definitely looking pretty low on fuel. And, uh, I forgot to slow down, so <laughs> we almost hit the wall. Our gap is down to four seconds now. Coming out of turn four, final lap, very low fuel. I don't think we're gonna run out until we're very close to the finish line. But I will coast a little bit just to be sure. And, uh, oh, you're telling me the tires are worn. Thank you. You'll take almost empty, but it doesn't matter. That's a checkered flag for Kyle Petty, baby. First since 1995. Uh, again, see what I meant when I said I can wipe this game's ass? And the wall just wiped Kyle Petty's ass. We are up seven positions in the standings. Not bad. Mark Martin all the way down at the bottom. Dale Jr. at the top. Jimmy Johnson. Jeff Gordon. Matt Kenseth. Kyle Busch. Tony Stewart. Elliot Sadler. Ryan Newman. And Mark Martin. So, let me pull up the real life race results. Okay, in real life. The race winner was Kurt Busch, and of course, we won here. And the rest of the top 10 was Matt Kenseth in 2nd, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in 3rd, Casey Kane in 4th, Jamie McMurray in 5th, Joe Nemechek in 6th, Jeff Gordon in 7th, 
Elliot Sadler in 8th, Michael Waltrip in 9th, and Kevin Harvick 10th. And here we have Dale Jr. 2nd, Jimmy Johnson 3rd, Kurt Busch 4th, Matt Kenseth 5th, Brendan Gaughan 6th, 7th had Tony Stewart, 8th is Jeff Gordon, 9th is Rusty Wallace, and 10th is Sterling Marlin. Seems like the top 5 is somewhat close to what we had in real life. And that's going to do it from New Hampshire. And the next race, um, fuck, what was the next race? Dover. That's right, Dover. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow for Dover. Thank you, and goodbye.